Uh, did someone not Venmo you back? Oh, I know some of y'all are going your phone now like, oh, bro, I, I, I know Pookie ain't, ain't give me back my money yet. Okay, forgive them for not doing so and gently remind them to pay you back. Barbara, Sean, it's been like a year. They ain't paid me back my, my $1,000 yet. Forgive them and gently remind them to pay you back. Welcome, everybody. Welcome back to the Motivate, Grind, Succeed podcast, where our goal is to help you improve your life in the four foundational cornerstones of faith, fellowship, fitness, and finance through practical and actionable tips and takeaways with every single episode. If you like what you hear, don't be afraid to leave a rating and a review as it really does help to go a long way. Also, if you feel so inclined to do so, sign up for my email list. You'll get access to new episode releases, merch drops, upcoming events, discounts on things, and you'll be the first to be notified when anything new happens with the show. Finally, if you are also so inclined to feel like you want to support the show, I appreciate you greatly and you can support me on Fourth Wall. Website is still currently underway. However, if you sign up for the waitlist, not only will you be one of the first to be notified when the website launches, but you'll receive an exclusive discount just for you as a thank you for your patience in this time of me trying to get this website together. So all the links to everything will be down in this episode's description. So be sure to check that out for more information. And guys, Today, we are going to be talking about forgiveness and letting go. It is the magic pill for a simpler life. Now, I know back in the fitness series, we had mentioned that the magic fat loss pill was Liss and that there is really no magic fat loss pill that you can get over the counter that really is super, super magical, right? Well, there's another uh, magic pill here, except now, now that we're in the faith series here, this one is for a simpler life. Now, notice how I said simpler, not easier, right? They're two different things. I know I say that a lot on this show about things are simple, not easy. And so I've defined what it is before, but I'll define it here again, just so we're on the same page. Simple means in terms of your ability to understand or to comprehend what it is that I'm saying, right? I'm speaking to you with using mostly words that I would say like a fifth or sixth grader can understand. And I don't do that to demean anybody listening. I do that because that way it's not so high level and so highfalutin that you need like a master's degree to understand what I'm talking about, right? There's there's magic to keeping things simple. It makes it a lot easier to understand, a lot easier to implement, and it's a lot less of a barrier to entry into understanding things. Easy means the ability to execute something. For example, driving a car. Driving a car is simple, but not easy for first time people. It's simple in that it's two pedals and a steering wheel. It's pretty simple to understand. You turn right, you go right, you turn left, you go left, you press the gas, you go faster, you press the brake, you go slower until you get to a stop. However, when you're first driving, your first ever time, it's a lot of things going on, right? You have to understand depth perception. You have to understand at different speeds, there's a different amount of input that will generate a different amount of output depending on how the steering wheel turns right so that's what i mean when i say it's simple versus easy simple is i'm saying it to a way where okay that makes sense i understand what you're saying but easy and hard is more in terms of execution so forgiveness right we've all heard about it but as i've said already in this little introduction it's way easier said than done and we sometimes feel justified holding grudges, right? It's a whole lot easier to hold grudges than it is to just simply forgive somebody, right? It's so much easier just to say, oh, I'm just never going to forgive that person. Oh, this per I'm never going to let this person let down what they did to me. It's so much easier to do that. But if you really think about it long term, has that really helped you? Take a second. Think about that grudge because it shouldn't take you very long to think about a grudge if you've got one, right? How has that helped you in your life? In terms of you with that person, has, has that helped? Have you all talked since then? And if you have, was it just truthfully you all just talking as friends or siblings or parents and to child or whatever the relationship may be? Was it the same to you? Chances are probably not, right? Holding on to these grudges, if anything, most times it hurts us in the long term. What are some ways it hurts us, Rashawn? Glad you asked. Fantastic question. And I'm going to answer your question just now. One thing is increased stress. This leads to 
feelings of anger or resentment. I know. I I I was somebody who used to hold grudges quite a bit myself, and let me tell you, it it it, it does not help you because every time you see that person and they're just living their life, it irks you because that person probably most likely hurt you. You're feeling hurt, but this person's going off living living their life as if nothing happened. And it is it's something else. I'm telling you, when you still hurting and they're just living, it's painful. It, it, it hurts to see sometimes. Another thing that forgiveness ends up doing is straining relationships. As I alluded to before, when you have some sort of grudge, when you have some sort of issue with somebody, a lot of times that relationship is going to be strained, whether it be one way or two way. Either way, that relationship is going to be strained until that issue gets resolved. Another thing is decreased happiness. Obviously, we all know, I mean, if you're upset, naturally, your happiness is going to be decreased. We know this. You have an inability to move on. It, it I mean, this one's also pretty self-explanatory as well. When you hold on to the grudge, you're holding on to whatever that person did at that specific point in time or during this specific time frame of your life. And for some reason, you just cannot find the ability to be able to just say, you know what? Let bygones be bygones. And so you're stuck. Every time you think about that person, you're always stuck in this one point or in this one particular speck of your span of time. And you literally can't move on from that. Every time you think about that person, that's the one thing or the two things that you think about is just what they did to you at that point. They could have done a million good things, but we focus on the one bad thing. They could have said a million things to encourage you, but you focused on the one thing to discourage you. You're unable to move on. Finally, the potential to lead to unhealthy coping mechanisms. You can think of things such as substance abuse or overeating or excessive drinking, ways that we try to cope with the way that we feel instead of addressing the situation at hand. Think about this as like a tree, right? You can cut off the branches as many times as you want. The tree is still alive. The roots are still in the ground. Over time, those branches are still going to grow back. It's still going to come back and you're going to have to trim them back again. The only way to truly get rid of the problems in your life is to get rid of that root. And how do we get rid of that root? Well, the forgiveness and letting go. And of course, because we were in the faith series, you know, we got to bring the Bible into this a little bit here. So what does the Bible say about forgiveness, right? We already know, you know, your mom, your dad, your teacher, your coach or whatever has taught you that, oh, you need to forgive that person, right? You need to forgive them. You need to do all that kind of stuff. So in Genesis 50, chap chapter 50, verses 15 through 21, this is the story of Joseph. Obviously, that's not the entire story of Joseph in six verses, but this is the story of Joseph, and this is the part of the story where his brothers sold him into slavery, right? Now, most of us, if we were sold into slavery, let's be honest, or sold into, let's not even make it that extreme, right? Let's just say we were just sold or just told out or told we need to do something we didn't want to do or voluntold or something like that. I guarantee you some of y'all going to feel a little some type of ways, okay? I know I feel some type of ways when I get voluntold to do certain things that I, especially if I don't want to do them, I don't necessarily feel anger or resentment, but I do feel a little, a little type of ways like, really, bro? You really going to just, you, you're really going to do that to me? You got to voluntold me to do something like that? Really, bro? Seriously? I mean, I'll do it, but seriously? Now, going back to the example of Joseph here, Man's got sold into slavery. Like, I'm from, by your own siblings, bro. Like, imagine your brother or your sister out here saying, Yeah, I don't like him because he was the chosen one by my dad and he got the coat of colors and yada yada and throw him into slavery. What? Bro, I. I would be upset. I would be pretty livid at that point in time. But Joseph didn't. Joseph was not upset. He was not upset. He forgave them. Now, again, is that an easy thing to do? Absolutely not. It is. Not, I, have, I am by no stretch of the imagination saying this is an easy thing to do whatsoever. This is this is a lifelong thing that needs to be practiced day in and day out because it is so, so easy to just hold on to that grudge compared to just letting it go and forgiving them for what they're doing. How about another example? Luke 23 and 34. Jesus chose 
to forgive his persecutors when he said, forgive them for they know not what they do. I want to pause on that for just a split second here. Two words that I stressed in that sentence, forgive, which is obviously what we're talking about in this episode, and chose. Hmm. He chose to forgive. That means we still have a choice to forgive. I'm not going to harp on this for very long because the episode is starting to get a little bit long, but Jesus chose to forgive. That means forgiveness is a choice, right? Whether it looks like it or not, I had no choice to, I, I don't feel like I have a choice to, when you, you have a choice. That doesn't mean it's an easy choice. No one said it was an easy choice. No one at all said it was an easy choice. So for anybody thinking that I'm saying, oh, we're just supposed to ignore what they did. I didn't say ignore what they did either, right? I didn't say ignore what they did either. There's the whole saying of forgive, but don't forget. Okay. You can forgive them for what they did, but that doesn't mean they get away from the consequences. But the point is that you're supposed to forgive them for what they did. Because think about it this way. If the tables were turned and reversed and flipped and you did something wrong to them, wouldn't you want them to forgive you? So why not give it? Treat other people as you want to be treated. Colossians 3.13, we are called to bear with each other and forgive one another. If any of you has a grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. See, I, I just said that. Treat other people as you want to be treated. God forgave you, you forgive other people. Naturally like that. Why is it then that well, if someone forgives you, you don't want to pay it forward, pass on the forgiveness as well? Because it's not easy? Wow. If that's the reason why, because it's not easy, life isn't easy. Life is full of difficult choices. But see, as I've talked about before in past episodes, when you leave that comfort zone, you make the choices in your life that push you to not do things that are easy. That is where the growth is. That is where you start finding out, I am capable of performing feats that I never thought I'd be able to do, such as forgive people when they blatantly wrong you or blatantly talk in your face or blatantly show hate towards you. You need to say, okay, cool. It basically bounces off like a bulletproof vest in your John Wick, okay? I'm telling you, it's not an easy thing, but if you can do it, it's such a simpler life because so many things will, it's going to be so much easier for things to not offend you. I'm telling you. So with all that in mind, guys, I know you all are probably thinking this is a cool story, bro, but uh, this is Bible time. This is like 2000 years ago. This doesn't relate to modern day. Okay. How about this way? Uh, did someone not Venmo you back? Oh, I know some of y'all are going your phone now like, oh, bro, I, I, I know Pookie ain't, ain't give me back my money yet. Okay forgive them for not doing so and gently remind them to pay you back barbara sean it's been like a year they ain't paid me back my, my thousand dollars yet forgive them and gently remind them to pay you back i didn't say it was gonna be easy and i'm also not saying to just blatantly put a blanket on it and just say well if somebody stabs me i should just forgive them and just let, let it go what did i say forgive and not forget okay consequences will come as that person physically stabbed you the legal system will be involved jail time will most likely be involved the consequences will come from that but your job alone is to forgive them i know it's difficult it's hard this was not meant to be easy this is not an easy topic for people to sit down swallow and understand however it is still a topic that needs to be discussed here okay now ending off on this because we are we are going well into this episode now just understand i'm going to reiterate this point one last time some people are really truthfully going to struggle with this some people truthfully are not going to like this when i cut up this episode into different shorts and promote them out so people can start hearing the things that i'm saying about this full episode people are not going to like it people are going to leave hate comments people are going to be sending me dm saying how much they don't like this message that is mad unfortunate that that just kind of sucks i mean it comes with the territory it sucks but it is what it is relating this back to the faith now this is however what christians are called to do no one ever said this was going to be an easy road no one ever said this was going to be an easy journey because if it was an easy road and an easy journey everybody would do it because what did i say before growth comes outside the comfort zone the comfort zone is where things are difficult 
and nothing worthwhile ever comes without some difficulty. You want to stay comfortable? Fine. Stay comfortable, but just realize chances of things falling in your lap are slim to none. You want something actually to come good from your life? You got to get out there, bust your butt and actually do some work. You got to get out that comfort zone. You got to do things that you're uncomfortable with, period. It just, it is what it is. Growth comes outside the comfort zone. So here's what I want you to do. If you're up for the challenge, guys, reflect on your life. Look at any grudges, resentment, or anything that you may be holding on to. Remember that one that we talked about before, way at the start of the episode, when I said, think about that grudge that you have? Think about that. Shouldn't take too long because the way grudges work. I don't care if you got one grudge, two grudge, five grudges, 60 grudges. What you need to do is think about any one of those grudges. Just pick one, okay? Now think about the plan for your life. Now think about trying to relate those two. How is holding on to this one, two, three, five, or 60 grudges going to help you progress in your life? Think about that, okay? This is an exercise I did with myself. And when I started really looking at any grudges that I held, I started realizing none of these grudges that I'm holding are helping me in any way, shape or form. If anything, they're just eating away at my sanity. They're eating away at my peace of mind. And this person is Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, whatever. They're living their life and they don't really care because they've moved on. Yes, they did wrong, but they've moved on. I was hurt, yes, but I've also learned to move on. Because in order for me to continue to grow, I had to learn how to forgive that person. I'm telling you right now, the forgiveness was not easy. Some people I had to physically reach out, but I'm telling you, once I did that, once that resolution was reached, it was like a weight was lifted off your shoulders. You might also be thinking, well, what if they don't wanna resolve? that's on them that has nothing to do with you you still have the choice as jesus did when he forgave his persecutors you still have the choice to forgive or to not forgive and i'm just telling you right now in the words of wolf of wall street when he says i've been a rich man and a poor man and i choose rich every time in this case in this case it's i have forgiven and I have not forgiven and I choose to forgive every time. So guys, that's what I have for you this week. Some ending reminders and notes here. I am always accepting questions as well as any kind of commentary or things for the show. If you want to go ahead and leave me a note for the show, go ahead, check out the website, motivategrindsucceed.com. There, there's going to be a tab on the right-hand side. You can go ahead and click that. It's going to say something like open me or open me or something like that, right? You're going to open that up and you're going to leave a voicemail. It's just going to be a quick voice memo, about 45 seconds long. You got 45 seconds to say whatever it is that you want to say, whether it be some constructive criticism, you got a question for me, you don't agree with what I'm saying, doesn't really matter. Leave whatever it is that that you want to leave. I'll go through those. And if it's a good question, you'll be featured on a future episode, right? I'm thinking about definitely opening that up. So definitely go ahead in there, leave your comments, leave your questions about anything that is regarding uh, what we're talking about on the show. And I'll go ahead and answer to the best of my ability on future episodes. Also, as we said in the beginning, the fourth wall site is still under construction. So if you head there when this episode is dropped, you're most likely going to see a coming soon page. However, if you enter your email on that page, I'll make sure you are the first to be notified when the site goes live and you'll receive a special discount, guys. That is going to be permanent, a permanent percentage off whatever you get inside of that store. Permanent, just for you guys who enter your email. So, You got nothing to lose. I promise you I won't spam you with a bunch of stuff. Email is one of my love languages, though, so I I won't spam you with a bunch of of fluff and filler and all those kind of things. You'll get the new episode drops. You'll get if there's any new merch drops, anything new that I'm coming out with. You'll also be able to reply back to those emails directly. So if I ask you guys a question or something like, what do you guys want to hear about in the next episode? Or what kind of guests do you all want to see? You can reply straight to those emails and those come straight to me. I'll be able to read them, reply back to you, add them to my list of things to do, and we can make some things happen. So that's one of the best ways to get in contact with me is either Instagram or definitely email. So be sure to sign up for those. 
And with all that, guys, that's what I have for you this week. Thank you so much for listening. And don't forget that if you like what you hear, please leave a rating and a review if you're feeling so inclined to do so, as it really does help to go a long way. It's also, as I said before, many, many times, there's an email list. You go ahead and join that. And when you join that, as I said, you'll be able to get new episode releases, new merch drops, be informed of all that good jazz. Just go ahead, click the link down in this episode description and go ahead and get signed up for that. And finally, the fourth wall site, just stay tuned for that. More news will be coming to that soon. Everything that I mentioned or maybe neglected to mention will be down in this episode's description. Take care of yourselves and I will see you all next time.